turn on the torch, light up the flame, time to melt some glass, my friends. There you are. Here I am to explain, to teach, and create again. Well, I'm going to do a hollow hummingbird. And I think, well, yeah, for the Christmas tree, in my Christmas tree ornament designs that I've been doing. And again, it could be a ha hummingbird that you could just hang in a window somewhere, whether it's a Christmas tree and or and or. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, one of the things that I do recommend you get is a blow hose and swivel. The one I've got here. Again, spins like this, and it's an interesting one. I got it about 10, 15 years ago. Can't even remember where I got it. <laughs> but they were on uh, glass supply uh, places all the time. And uh, just a matter of, just a matter of uh, picking it up and looking for it. Now, here we go. Uh, of course, it's not going to cooperate. There we go. I don't need that much flame, but I'm going to use it anyway. Let's see if you can see what's going on inside the flame with what I'm working with. Oops, sorry. I did that quite well, didn't I? <laughs> now, I'm going to seal up the end this tubing. Nice go. I'm going to use a small potato to hold on so far. And you're going to have to excuse my mumbling is that I have a mouthpiece in my mouth to blow the the bubble, as it were. Now, when I do a bubble, I try to get it nice and pliable. It's not perfect. But, take it out of the flame. You can make it into, well, in this case, I'm going to stretch it out just a little because I need the uh, body shape of a hummingbird, which is, you can see, a nice pointy, almost like a Christmas, uh, Christmas lamp light or whatever. Well, I'm also going to add a little bit of glass here to the end. That's it. This is going to be the tail. The second thought, I'm going to go in the other direction, make it the head. <laughs> Let's see why in a minute. Because I can make the tail into where I'm holding on to it at the moment. Okay. This is going to be the head, and it's going to be solid. There we go. Nice neck. it into a nice head going on here. Tilt it down slightly. Already looked like a hummingbird, didn't it? You know, no. Looks like a bobber. Actually, it looks like a penguin right now. Without any wings or anything. Matter of fact, I'm going to stretch out the neck just slightly. There 
There you go. Curve it a little bit. You're going, how did I do that? How did I do that? Practice. You learn to see the color. And one of the things I try to tell you about is the color you're really looking for is that orange to orange. I call it orange, but it's actually like a pinkish coral color. And when you get the two of them together, you just touch them and they sort of flow together. That's the color you're looking for when you put two pieces of glass together. So they fuse together well. And you learn how to flow glass like so. It, it has it. In other words, it's not perfect straight, but it got it, it's it, uh, moment here. Gonna do some clear eyes for two reasons. The clear is available. And I'm trying to make this video fast and mean. Now, the wings. This is tricky. Got to get the surface of the glass heated, but not overheated so it's collapsing in. But you want to have it to where the glass is sticking, sealing together. You got two pieces, one piece of glass, not two. And again, my fold and pull method, what I call it. And from this angle, you're probably getting a good ang uh, good idea how to look at it and see how what I'm doing. And again, right now, where the camera is, is sort of in my view, so I, I, I have to do it a little bit to the side, but I'm still coming up. In other words, these guys have got a better view than I do of what's going on inside the flame. Again, the fold and pull. And I do it until I say that's about the same size as the other one. And it comes with practice again. There we go. Oops. Oops. A little bit different than the other one, but practice. You learn where to tuft it so it doesn't look as bad. Now one of the things I forgot to do before I put the wings on was the bale, the loop, whatever you want to call it, so that you can hang it on the Christmas tree. But I'm going to take it down to practically nothing. Touch it to the neck. So before you put the wings on, you could do this, but you could put it on at any time you really want to. You just have to, again, do it gently. There you go. I usually make the question mark design and then just let it gravity work and bring it back down to itself and seal it on. Then I go back with a graphite rod that's sort of a pencil and ream it out. There we go. Now, let's do the back end of this guy. Now at the moment, it's hollow. It's still hollow all the way through the body, except the head, of course. I'm going to go ahead and put a cold weld right here where I'll tap it off later and work on the tail. Bring up a little bit more flame, just a little bit. I could do it with a single flame, but if you got the extra, put it on there. I'm curving it down. 
And when I say curving it down and I'm actually bending it upwards, one of the things you've got to learn is the orientation of the animal that you're working on. Like this, this up here is the head, so that's the top. Or actually the back of the back of the back of it is the top. That's the front, and this is the back over here where the tail is coming out. And again, when I saying I'm pulling it downward. I was pulling it downward in the direction of what would be down on the final piece. It's kind of confusing, but it is a uh, necessity to get your orientation down. I'm going to blow a little bubble and pull it off there. Now the reason I do that is so most of my hollow pieces somewhere there's a little hole. Uh, otherwise, the vacuum or the extra pressure inside the animal will tend to either blow it out or suck it in. But that little hole, and if you design it well, nobody will say, hey, where, why'd you leave a hole there? It, it sort of looks like part of the design anyway. I'm going to go ahead and make what I call my fan type tail. I've been putting these on the mermaids lately too and they turn out really good. So fold and pull all the way around. One more. That'll work it. And just uh, go to the middle again. And bring it out. Got an interesting bird chirping behind me. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. Very interesting bird. I don't think I've ever heard it before. Okay. And there you have one hummingbird Christmas ornament. As always, whoop, let me get the tweezers going on here. Thanks for watching. Get up there. There, there we go. Thanks for watching. Ooh, I did think it's set, didn't it? Set up. Come on, stay there. Yay! It stays by itself. That's good. And of course, you got the loop to let it hang, sort of like that. That's about where the center of gravity is, which is pretty cool. Thanks for watching, and as always, enjoy your day.